Suppose we say that t is a real number. By starting at the point 1, 0 and moving in a counterclockwise direction if t is positive or in a clockwise direction if t is negative. Doing this, we arrive at the point x, y on the unit circle. That point p is called the terminal point. So again, we start here at 1, 0, and if t is positive, we're going to go counterclockwise. We're going to go in this direction here, stopping at p, which is our terminal point. If t is negative, we're going to go in a clockwise direction like this, and where we stop at, which is p, is again the terminal point. So make sure you know which direction you're going. Counterclockwise, t is positive. Clockwise, t is negative. Our stopping point there is called the terminal point. Now, let t be a real number. The reference number denoted by this, call it t prime, is associated with t and is the shortest distance along the unit circle between the terminal point determined by t and the x-axis. So let's say we start here at 1, 0, and we go along, and we stop here in quadrant 1. The shortest distance back to the x-axis is this here. This is our reference number, t prime. Now, if we, again, we start here at 1, 0, and we go all the way around into quadrant 2 and stop here, this distance here is the shortest distance to the x-axis. And this is our reference number, t prime. It is always the shortest distance back to the x-axis. If we start here at 1, 0, and we go all the way to quadrant 3, and we stop here, again, the shortest distance back to the x-axis, again, t prime, is our reference number. And if we start at 1, 0, and we go all the way around to quadrant 4, this shortest distance here is t prime. This shortest distance is our reference number. The same thing works if you go in a clockwise manner. Again, the shortest distance is the reference number.